Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13, the show, and we have got some more Kevin Millar Road to the show coming your way. If you didn't get a chance to be able to see the last episode of Kevin Millar, it was the first game where I was the starting pitcher here in AAA. So this game is going to be a good indication of what we're going to be seeing for the rest of the time here with Kevin Millar in the AAA starter role, simply because in the last game I really did struggle at times. And so if in this game I struggle as well, I think that's just what I'm going to expect. You know, games are not going to be pretty, but at the same time, if this ends up being a pretty good game for me, who knows what might happen? I mean, AAA might just be, you know, a lot more interesting than, than I thought it was going to be and a lot more successful. But I wanted to make sure, you guys, that uh, I let you all know how thankful I am for you guys being really cool with me this past week. It's just been really crazy uh, with work and stuff. I mean, I've been absolutely exhausted. So there have been some days where I've actually gone ahead and I have the videos ready to go. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to stay up and actually go ahead and record these. And oh my gosh, I'm signed out. But I get a strike out. No, but I'm like so exhausted. I just don't want to do videos. So I got to make sure I get back on uh, some type of sleep schedule here. But um I don't know if I'll be able to do that even because things are going to be changing for me at work. So I'm going to be going back to my normal work schedule, which is kind of sad. Uh, and at the same time, kind of good because right now I'm working 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And I'm going to be moving to 2 o'clock in the afternoons when, I, when I'm going to come into work. And then I'll be getting off work at 11 o'clock at night. So it's good for me in the sense that I get paid 10% more for working later on in the day. But it is kind of sad because, you know, my wife and Hiram are probably going to be asleep by the time or right when I get home. So I'm not going to see them nearly as much. So I'll have time to be able to do this because they'll be sleeping. And I, I just can't sleep right when I get home. So I'll just have time to be able to do commentaries and stuff. But... Gosh, I don't know. Like, it's a lot different now. Because, like, when my wife and I, you know, when we were just married and it was the two of us, she would just stay up, too. And she actually worked at a job where she went into work at 1 and got off at 10 and, you know, worked out just fine for us. But not, of course, going to be able to do that anymore since she's a stay-at-home mom. Her schedule is Hiram's schedule. But, yeah. Uh, I'm not too excited about it, but I've had a great opportunity these past few months at work. Having this new schedule meant that I was able to help out with some of the new employees at work, and that was really cool to be able to get my name out there uh, at you know, my place of employment here as just somebody who does a good job of being able to help some of the new, uh, the new people. But, gosh, all good things must come to an end, I guess. So we'll see how, how I make that transition. If I you know the next few days uh don't post anything it's probably because i'm trying to readjust and get on a sleep schedule that kind of more accommodates my work schedule anyway i did get a lot of messages i shouldn't say messages but i got some comments from some people and i did get some messages too saying that i should do a draw my life video i just kind of wanted to bring it up to you guys and see what you really thought oh my gosh it's seven and nothing right now but I don't know, like I've, I've gone and I've taken a look and drawn my life videos. Not like it's really going to be that tough for me to do. I, mean, I, I can do it, it's just a matter of if you guys really wanted to see something like that. I mean, I'm kind of afraid I live a very uninteresting life. And so as I go ahead and I make the video, I'm just going to get stuck on stuff to say. Because, you know, as I mentioned, really not that exciting. But... I don't know if there's the demand for it. You guys know that I'm always willing to uh, do something that you guys want me to do. So, hey, I'm all about that. So make sure you let me know and comment below as to whether or not you would want to see a Draw My Life video. I mean, we've got a whiteboard and everything like that. So it'd just be a piece of cake for me to do. But I don't know. Some people just really don't care. And I'm totally fine with that. But I don't want it to be something that just sounds... Like, it's going to be absolutely awesome. And it's like, oh, what a pretty mediocre and average life Dunbar has. I mean, I've watched some of the other ones just being like, okay, well, what are these videos? Because I feel bad. I honestly didn't know. So I went and I looked them up. I'm like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. And I, I watched some of them. I'm like, oh, wow, that's actually really interesting. Like, you know, these people talk about how they got into YouTube and how it's their career and stuff like that. And I have to be like, that's not my career at all. I mean, it's just a hobby that I do. 
But, like I said, if you guys want to see it, just make sure you go ahead and comment below. Um, T-shirt contest is still going on right now. So it's going to go until Sunday, I believe. So that gives you guys a chance to be able to go back for this past week uh, and get a chance to favorite all the videos and also comment on there just to get a chance to be able to win a Dunbar Snack Bar t-shirt. That's really all you have to do. And then uh, just go ahead and let me know that you guys have liked that video as well and where you shared it too, just so I can check and make sure that you guys really did. Because I wouldn't want to go ahead and give a t-shirt to somebody who won and didn't really share anything at all. They just commented on there. So I'm going to be checking. And every day I can go in there and see when stuff was shared and how many. And, and sometimes it does get kind of crazy because there was like one day where there was only like four shares, which is pretty low. But there was a ton more than four people who were like, oh, I shared. So anyway... Just wanted to look, uh, let you guys know that is going on still because there was some people who still needed some clarification. But. All right, so Kevin Millar not doing too bad here. We're up 7-1, to one, so I'm thinking I got a pretty good chance of being able to come away with the win. Dang it, he didn't catch that one, so it's going to go to the wall. We're going to be looking at a double, so Kevin Millar, man, well, he's done a great job. There's still a lot of opportunities for improvement. I know I mentioned this before. But really, that knuckleball, I don't know what I need to do to make it better. I mean, I always keep working on velocity, on control, seeing if I can make it break a little bit more. And I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing for me to go ahead and build up or not, just because the more that it breaks, the more chance, I mean, the higher the chance that it's going to go outside of the strike zone. I mean, knuckleball is really tough to control anyway. It's not like a four seamer where I can be like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and paint this corner, and then that's where the ball ends up going. In fact, it's like the complete opposite. So. Really, really tough, but the four-seam fastball has done a lot of good for me uh, just with the time that I've been able to pitch as Kevin Millar. It's gotten me out of a lot of jams in the slider, too, so I am getting kind of excited uh, to be able to get a fourth pitch, but I want to make sure that I get these other pitches that I have down solid, and you know they really are great pitches before I introduce another one that I'm going to have to focus almost all of my training points on to kind of make that better, but... Gosh, I'm actually really enjoying this series. It, it, I remember when I did the Chris Rose one last year. I was just like, I don't know. As a pitcher, that might get kind of monotonous. And I know from a viewing standpoint, it can be kind of monotonous too, especially when I've got three pitches and, you know, it's all I'm doing is pitching. And, and, and a lot of people find the offensive side of things to be a lot more interesting. And I'm not going to lie. I am one of them. But I think it's just a factor of getting a chance to play it, being able to work up. Uh, you know, the ranks of the minor leagues with Kevin Millar is something that's pretty interesting. Because with 2K, I mean, it was always, hey, great, you've gone from AA to MLB, and you never got the AAA experience, or at least I never got the AAA experience. But now that uh, I get to do that, this is kind of cool. Adds a lot to it, and I'm really, really glad that I went ahead and I I got the PS3 for Christmas. I mean, I was, I was uh, talking to Ollie, and he was just kind of mentioning how Oh, he was glad he got the PlayStation 3 to be able to play the show. And, you know, it really made me think that, yeah, this was a great move. So when my wife was thinking about Christmas presents to be able to get me, and, you know, I kind of mentioned a PS3. I didn't think she was really going to go about getting it, but she did, which was really cool. And now I get a chance to be able to play this game. Like, honestly, this is really the only game I play on my PS3, and that's probably going to be uh, the way that it is. But I've, I've also thought, you know, I think I'm going to buy some more games on the PS3 and kind of work away from the Xbox. Like I'm still going to get NCAA football for the Xbox. But I know uh, Tezza Dude has kind of mentioned that he wants to go ahead and play like basketball and he wants to play Madden and stuff like that. So I might uh, just go ahead and get those on the PlayStation this coming year just so that way I could get a chance to be able to you know, play a game with him like that because that would be really cool. I mean, I enjoy the games of MLB the show that we get to play and I'm really hoping he gets 13 here pretty soon but um, gosh those other games would be a lot of fun to be able to play him uh, with just because I mean the thing I like about playing with uh, you know online with Tom is you know it's always cool and it's always like a friendly matchup I mean even in those moments where I you know I could tell we both really want to win and there's a lot of pressure, you know, going on, whatever. Like, 
you know, some pretty intense moments. Like, we still come away at the end. We're like, hey, good game. And I've played a few people online, subscribers even. And, gosh, it's been crazy. Like, I'll beat them and they'll just be like, you know, you're, you're terrible. You must have cheated, something like that. I'm just like, whatever. So... I always feel bad, too, because I get a lot of requests like, hey, will you play me online? And part of it is I don't know these people, and so it can end up being really creepy or just not a lot of fun. Plus, at the same time, too, with all the time that I spend actually making these videos, I don't have too much time to actually play online. That's why I don't too many don't um, play too many first-person shooters. It's just a time factor. But All right, so with Kevin Millar, going back to the game, uh... Really, I started out with a lot of strikeouts, which I'm sure you guys picked up. I mean, very solid pitching out of him. Now, I'm not getting as many strikeouts here, but, you know, I am doing a great job of being able to get the ball in play, so that way the, you know, seven guys behind me are able to go ahead and get some outs that way. So, my energy bar is ridiculously low right now. Strike two with that four-seam fastball. I like the velocity where it's at. I mean, some major leaguers don't even have a 94-mile-an-hour fastball. So the fact that I've got some additional velocity just kind of goes to show where Kevin Millar is in the grand scheme of things. I mean, I still have a lot of things to be able to work on. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, you know, Kevin Millar is MLB caliber quite yet. But the more things that I can see that are going really good for Kevin Millar, you know, the better I can measure his progress on certain things. So we're going to try this high and outside. Gosh, way too late on that one. So another strikeout here for Kevin Millar in this game. And every strikeout that we get, that's giving me that many more training points to make me even better. So it just goes, you know, in one giant circle almost. Why do you even throw it over? It's not like you they were really going to beat me with just a little floater. It's a little underhand right there. But the knuckleball, while it has been pretty effective all game long, really has lost its efficiency. You know, once you hit innings, gosh, I might even say inning five. I mean, my knuckleball is just really, really tough. I got to find what I got to do to be able to maintain this type of efficiency. But, yeah, I am tired. So that means the accuracy of my pitches are not going to be there. So I won't be able to paint the corners nearly as much. But I can go ahead and put it into position where I know it's going to be a strike. And a lot of times it's going to go ahead and drift, you know, closer to the edge of the strike zone. So, I mean, I'm still able to get strikeouts. It's just got to pitch a little bit differently. That's the thing about getting tired is, you know, you don't necessarily change your tactics that much. You just got to make sure that, you know, you pitch more effectively. That's that's really it. So strike three, swinging on that one. So Kevin Millar showing that still late in the game, I've got the ability to get these strikeouts. 10 to two is the score right now. So we're on top by eight runs. So I think Kevin Millar is going to be able to come away with the win right here. Really, we're going to have to see, um, you know, a lot of hits and the computer deciding to keep me in, which I wouldn't put it past the computer. I mean, sometimes they've done some things that I think are pretty foolish. But that one just going right back to Kevin Millar, just a throw over to first. And that is going to go ahead and be it for inning number eight. And the game for Kevin Millar. So I had a total of 13 strikeouts. Yeah, I deserve a little bit more than a handshake. But a great outing for Kevin Millar. This is what I like to see. It feels like he is back in the form that we saw him in double A. But I appreciate you guys watching more of this, of course, to come later on. So, oh, uh, I'm also going to be doing for the next Kevin Millar video a question and answer video. So make sure you go ahead and post your questions too. And let me know if you want to go ahead and see that Draw My Life video if you want me to make that. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate it. Again, subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. All that great jazz. All you got to do is check the description below. But you are phenomenal people. Do not ever forget that. And as always, you guys, I hope you have a good one.